Hey guys, so this has been requested quite a bit. My top 10 PlayStation 1 games of all time. I think you'll agree that most of them deserve to be in the top 10. Maybe not all, but that's personal preference. So let's get on with number 10. Cool Borders 2 is a snowboarding video game made by UEP Systems, released in 1997. This is one of my favourites, standing in a top 10. I enjoyed playing this a lot back in the day, although it did seem a bit more exciting back then than it does now. But nevertheless, it was still a good game. Even today, uh, I did have a few bumps. As you can see, I just couldn't get any of the jumps going. Oh, look at it. Oh, it was awful. Oh, get me out of here and help me rescue the others. In at number nine, Oddworld Apes Odyssey. This one was also released in 1997 by Oddworld Inhabitants. Unfortunately, the Muddercon Abe is a prisoner in Rupture Farms. And yes, I did spend most of my time just making funny fart sounds and laughing and blowing the brains out of the guards. Which was pretty fun at the time. Brilliant game. I couldn't find any faults with it. Which is why it's in my top 10. At number 8, we have Raid Racer, the third installment of the Ridge Racer series on the PlayStation 1 in 1997. Let's get it on. I loved the fact that you could pick your own music in the race. Three, two, one, go! This track is so nostalgic. You could also paint your own logo in. You could literally design your own car. I mean, I spent most of my gameplay just designing the car. At number 7, Tekken 2. It was published and developed by Namco in 1996. Now when I used to play this my main was mostly King. I did get a perfect round, which did make me feel badass. I was like, yeah, I've still got it. And then I got my ass kicked. Uh. At number six, we've got Time Crisis, a gun shooter game released in the arcades in 1995. This nation later released onto mine. the PlayStation 1. <laughs> ah. I had endless fun with this game, with the light gun. Even when I used to go on holiday, I would go into the arcades and I would be playing this game. And in some of the arcades, they are still there. Ashley, is that you? <laughs> At number five, Galarians. <laughs> this survival horror game was released in 1999 by Polygon Magic. It follows a boy called Rion, who's got psychic abilities. And as I remember, I was quite frightened by this game. So, that's probably why it's made an impact. 
I wouldn't say the gameplay is amazing, but from a survivor horror aspect, yeah, it's up there. It's up in the top 10. Yeah, I can't remember how to get out of this room. I know you use your psychic abilities, but when you first start the game, you don't actually realise that you've got to use these psychic abilities until you press a triangle button. And then you're like, oh, right, okay. Let me out! I've got powers, but I don't know how to use them. Number four, Tomb Raider. What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natler does. From Natler Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. So this was one of the first games in 1996 that I had on the PlayStation 1, but it wasn't actually released first on the PlayStation 1. It was actually released on the Sega Saturn, but the Sega Saturn didn't take off very well. I remember playing this for the first time and getting chowed up by a tiger. But some of the deaths were so funny. I used to just jump off the cliffs quite a lot just to hear it go... Aah! At number three, Buster Groove. I had so much fun playing this. This game was released in 1998. Popular Japanese video game developer Enix in Japan. Kitty N was always the one I played as her. Song was fantastic. At number two, Final Fantasy VIII. Released in 1999 by Squaresoft. This game honestly changed me. I don't know what happened, something about it. I, it opened up my, my drawing abilities. I started drawing characters from the game, listening to the music. It was something else than I'd ever played before on the PlayStation 1. And it was packed with gameplay. Who doesn't talk much and he's got quite a bit of social anxiety. He can be an ass as well at times. A bit cold. The number one spot goes to Resident Evil. Director's Cut. Capcom introduced us to stars members Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield. Wow, what a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? And they also introduced us to bad acting. Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is. What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert! A remaster of this game was made in 2002 and released on the GameCube. Another one of my favourites. You couldn't have remade the game any better. A dining room. 
And there we have it, my top 10 favourite PlayStation 1 games. Let me know your favourite in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.